This video lesson will help you improve your writing of extended response items, be those in math, science, social studies, English language arts, or any other. These videos will help you only if you take notes, pause and think about the lessons in them. Review your own writing while and after you are watching this video. Put the principles into practice in your own paragraphs, and you can improve them. With repeated practice, you will be able to write paragraphs without revision that will be strong, clear, and answer your teacher's needs. Today's subject is cause and effect writing. If you have not yet reviewed the first video in this series, go back and do so, because this video is a second example of improving for cause and effect writing. Here is our second prompt. Analyze how the resources in the southern colonies contributed to the economic and geographical expansion of the United States. This prompt asks for a cause and effect relationship. The cause is southern colonies. The effect is the contribution to economic and geographical expansion. Here is a typical student answer. There are three resources to why the southern colonies contributed to the economic and geographical expansion of the United States. The first resource was growing cash crops. People grew cash crops to sell and make money. The next resource was to make clothes. They used cotton to make clothes. The next resource was to sell goods to Europe. These are three reasons why colonies contributed to the economic and geographical expansion of the United States. The sentence bears a lot of strength. The student obviously is paying attention to the lesson and is trying to form a paragraph which expresses the concepts. But the sentences are weak. The paragraph does not flow. It does not demonstrate mastery of writing, but it can very easily. Let's look first at the claim. Remember that the claim is the topic sentence. It responds to the prompt directly. This student wrote, there are three resources to why the southern colonies contributed to the economic and geographical expansion of the United States. The sentence does not flow well, but it tries to do the two tasks that are required of any claim. First, to restate the prompt. Second, to add an answer. The prompt is this, and the student has tried to restate the prompt with this language. The southern colonies contributed to the economic and geographical expansion of the United States. The student has also tried to answer with the word three. The word three may not seem like much, but it's the student's own content that indicates what will happen in the paragraph to follow. In other words, it is an answer. However, this sentence does not flow well, primarily because when we revise it, we find that it does not have a strong subject. The subject in this sentence is there. We need a better subject than there. Remember that when we are using strong subjects, we want to try to use acting subjects, a person, an organization, an institution, something that can do something. If we decide to do that, we might use colonies. Those are organizations, and the southern colonies is a strong subject. Our revised topic sentence, our revised claim, states the southern colonies contributed to the economic and geographical expansion of the United States in three ways. The student's original sentence relies upon the word there, which is vague, and it leads to a weak verb, are. This is weak writing. Our new sentence, the southern colonies contributed, is strong writing with a specific strong subject and a strong verb, contributed. Let's keep this going. We want to use transition words, but not as subjects. This student has used language like the first resource, the next resource, and the next resource. These are not strong subjects, and the student has included the transition as part of the subject. Transition words and subjects are separate, and you must keep them so. Look at this sentence. The first resource was growing cash crops. I'll add the second sentence. People grew cash crops to sell and make money. Using a strong subject means that I must consider who is doing this, what institution, and I come up with southern colonies. Then I take the word first and use it as transition language, separated by a comma. First, southern colonies grew cash crops to sell and make money. Notice that I combined these two sentences because they are rather redundant if separate. Now the sentence is strong. First, southern colonies grew cash crops to sell and make money. I've used strong transition language first and a strong subject, southern colonies. Notice also that my weak verb, was, has been replaced with the strong verb, grew. Let's do it again. 
The next resource was to make clothes. They used cotton to make clothes. The student once again should combine these two sentences into one using the same principle of transition words and strong subjects. Use a strong subject. Use transition words that are separate. Next, they used cotton to make clothes. The word they may not seem like a strong subject, but remember it's a pronoun. Pronouns replace nouns. This has replaced the word or phrase southern colonies. Thus, it is a stand-in for southern colonies. That makes it strong. You can use pronouns as strong subjects as long as they replace nouns or phrases that are strong in themselves. The strength of the phrase southern colonies transfers to the word they, and the sentence is now revised. The revised paragraph looks like this. The southern colonies contributed to the economic and geographical expansion of the United States in three ways. First, the colonies grew cash crops to sell and make money. Next, they used cotton to make clothes. Finally, they sold goods to Europe. These are three ways the southern colonies contributed to the economic and geographical expansion of the United States. Let's review the principles for today. First, identify a clear subject in your claim, your topic sentence. Second, add content to the claim. Remember, something as simple as three is content that you have added, and it indicates you know where you're going with your answer. Third, use transition words and phrases, but not as subjects. Separate them, often with commas, from the subject. And lastly, use important people, groups, and ideas as subjects. Something that can act, something that is important. This will lead to stronger sentences and usually stronger verbs. Your writing will flow, it will carry more authority, and you will more clearly state what your teacher wants you to show.